Hello, my name's Andrew from Camera House Sedona and this is my entry into the Camera House Photographer of the Year competition for the landscape category, which came in second place. See, a landscape photo is really about the location you're in. You're looking for something that captures the eye and you're looking for an image that's going to evoke some form of emotion, if you can. Whether it's a scene from your past, whether it's somewhere you've never been before, you're looking for something that is interesting as your foreground. Another good point is the time at which you take your photos. Yes, you can take a photo at any time of the day, but your best times are usually depending on what you're wanting to shoot, either sunrise or sunset, and particularly that hour around the sunrise and sunset referred to as the golden hour, or in this case, if you're shooting uh, a night sky shot, you need to know the right times of the year to capture the Milky Way in the right direction for your photo. I've been into photography for a long time, since I was a young kid. I've been into astronomy even longer, and the combination of the two has always fascinated me. Because I am quite familiar with the night sky, I have a good understanding of where I'm going to look to get these shots. The great thing is that even if you have no um, knowledge of astronomy today, your apps on your phone can give you an idea of when and where to go to capture this photograph. Shooting landscape is quite gear orientated. You need tripod, you need a good camera with a wide angle lens. In terms of a nightscape like this, you need a wide aperture lens as well. My choice is a camera that can handle high ISO because you need to push that camera to capture the Milky Way and a fast aperture lens, in this case a 20mm f1.4. The more light I let in, the easier it is for me to capture this shot, the quicker I can get it done, so the less amount of movement in the stars, because the stars are constantly moving during your exposure. Exposure is a very important part of a landscape, um, mainly because it can either give you a sense of movement, or in this case, a sense of a frozen moment in time. When shooting a nightscape, you are inherently using a longer exposure but you need to be able to anticipate how long you can expose without having excessive movement in the stars. There are ways of calculating that. So for this particular image, knowing astronomy as I did, I knew I had approximately a 20 second exposure time to capture the Milky Way as a frozen moment in time. Knowing that the foreground was quite dark, I knew also needed to push the ISO in the camera up to 3200 to guarantee I could capture the scene.